thanks for joining me and happy Valentine's Day. So today I'm doing something totally new. I'm gonna see how well this works. I'm not sure, but we'll find out together. So this is a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas. And to celebrate Valentine's Day, I wanted to do something that was Valentine's Day themed. And so I want to make a heart, but instead of just pouring the colors out in a heart shape and blowing them out, I want to make little uh, flowers. And so I'm gonna have several mini blooms all the way around it. And what I did is I found a heart that I liked, traced around it, cut it out on this piece of, um, newspaper actually and then I made marks on on it so that I can have the blooms in the same general you know so they'll be spaced out evenly all the way around it and so there will actually be 16 blooms all the way around there's one here then there there there, 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 and then at the very end. And I was thinking since they're going to be so close, they're actually not going to blow out a whole lot because otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be able to put a whole lot of paint down for any of them because otherwise they will just all get so muddled up with each other that you're not actually going to be able to distinguish the different blooms from each other. And um, so when I blow it out, I'm going to start with the bloom here and blow it out and then I'm gonna skip one and then blow the next one out and I'm gonna keep alternating. So I'll just skip every other one and then when I come back around, it'll be just right that then I will go ahead and blow out the other ones that I hadn't blown out. So those will end up being the ones on top. But then I decided that there, with the little bit of bloom that there's gonna be all the way around it, there's gonna be a lot of white on the outside and a lot of white on the inside. So what I'm going to try today is I'm actually going to put this color down first before I ever um, put my base color down. And so this is going to be done in stages because I'm gonna, after I put this down, I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry and then I can go ahead and flood my canvas. And that way I'm hoping that when it dries, you'll see a little hint of the color underneath the heart shape. So that is, that's my plans anyway. I'm hoping that this turns out really spectacular. My colors that I'm gonna be using are Mars Black by Arteza, Metallic Red by Artist Loft, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics, and Pearlescent Rose by Master's Touch. The base that I'll be using is Titanium White by Master's Touch. And the color that I'm going to put down underneath to begin with is Tomato Red by Deco Art Americana. All right, so I'm going to get started.
Okay, so here is the first step. I've gotten that paint on there and now I'm going to leave it to dry. So I'll come back later on today and do the rest of it. And make sure that you stick around to the end and I will show you the dried results of the blue painting that I did last time. I'll be back. All right, so I'm back with the second stage of this. Um, I was kind of debating before if I wanted all of the blooms to be the same um, colors or not. And one of the benefits to having to do this in uh, two stages is that I was able to dwell on that longer. And so I did decide that I don't want all of the flowers to be the same. So since I was planning on blowing out every other flower to begin with, um, those are all going to be one color. Well, one collective color. And then the other ones are going to be another set of colors. So I'm still flooding it with the Titanium White by Master's Touch. And then the one set of blooms is going to have the Mars Black by Arteza. The Metallic Red by Artist's Loft. The Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. And the Pearlescent Rose by Master's Touch. The second um, set of blooms are going to have Metallic Purple by Artist's Loft. Then Lipstick Red by Folk Art. This is an enamel. What painting for Valentine's Day can't have something to do with lipstick in it? Metallic Rose Gold by Deco Art, because all girls deserve to have roses. And followed by Extreme Glitter Jelly Bean Pink by Folk Art. I love this color, it is so very pretty. And the reason I decided to go with a second set of colors for the other blooms is because I'm hoping that by doing that, you'll more easily distinguish one bloom from the other since they will um, go in on each other. So I'm hoping that'll kind of help separate them a little bit. And then the color that I used for the heart, again, was Tomato Red by Deco Art. So, I mixed up a new bottle of this. The other one had some goobers in it. I think it's, I think this type of bottle probably isn't as sealed as the other ones are. And so I think it kind of dries out more than the other ones do. But it might also be, since I take the lid off when I pour out on the canvas, then sometimes there's a little bit of paint that gets around that and dries and so maybe it kind of breaks the seal also. I'm not sure. But I just wanted to make sure that I had a nice fresh batch of it. Plus I didn't have enough to cover the whole canvas anyway. So I just figured it was better to have a complete full one to do this. So I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back.
All right, so my canvas is flooded. The bubbles are torched. Now I'm just trying to see where my lines are. I can faintly make it out. So now I just gotta figure out where it is for sure. Right, so. Is right there so it comes down right there. What is now? Okay, I saw the end of it. Where is it? It's gonna be too far to out. There. Now the other side. Oh, don't tell me I have that too. Uh, I can't see this side as well. I think I have this one up too high. I think I should have come down. Not. Alright. So if that's lined up there, then this one should be right about here. I hope so. And here. here. All right. Well, I hope these are going to turn out okay. That's gonna be good enough because they're already there, so that's what it'll be like. Okay, so this one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these. Okay, so this is gonna come up. It'll be right about there. That one's gonna be about right there. Is going to come up and then around out here and then there and then there. So this one's going to be out here a little bit and then here and there. 
Okay, so there's the heart. More of that down in a little bit. I just wanted to make sure that I got my spacing in a good way. I feel pretty good about that. This side I can see the shadow a little bit. So I know I'm mostly at least along here correct. This one I'm having a really hard time seeing the shadow so I must have a little more paint over there or something. Okay, so this is the metallic red going on the black. Okay. The other thing that I've been debating is what I want to use to blow this because I'm not sure if I want to blow it with my mouth or I was thinking about a straw or the world's smallest leaf blower. The only problem with the world's smallest leaf blower is it's pretty powerful and so I don't want to blow them like crazy. I mean, I'm okay if they have a little bit of overlap to them, but I just don't want them to have a bunch, necessarily. I, I want you to still be able to see that they are individual. Alright, so there's that. Now the next question is, do I want to put the other colors down before I blow these out, or do I want to blow these out first and then put those other colors down and blow them out? Huh, that's a good question. Um... I think if I... Uh, well, it's probably going to be better to put them down just because I think as these move, it's going to start moving the purple. Okay. I don't know. Guess I'll find out. I'll know shortly if I'm making a good decision or a bad one. <laughs> Oh, and I need to torch. I'm going to try using this first and see what I think of it.
definitely glad that I didn't add the paint onto these other ones because I think that would have been a mess. As it is, these some of them didn't have as much paint on them as others. So I don't know if it was the paint on them or if it was the paint under them that wasn't as much. But definitely if I would have had the other colors on here, it would have totally gotten messed up and lost. So now I'm going to put the paint down for the other ones. Probably don't need that much purple on some of these. That one definitely needs more purple. And then this one was smaller too. And this one. Guess it does need a little more. So it matches the other ones. Okay. And then the lipstick red. I got a little bit of it off. I don't know. I thought I had shaken these up. After I decided to do these other colors too. But it could have just had some that was up in there. They tend to separate if you haven't used them for a while. That's why you want to make sure you shake them. Hope this rose gold is going to be a really pretty addition to this. I think I could have had these a lot smaller though. I was planning on making them smaller to begin with and I don't know. It just didn't happen, did it?
That is awesome. I was beginning to second guess myself. I wasn't really sure how this was working because they're all just kind of bunched up on themselves, but you can definitely tell that this is a heart. And that was my biggest concern is that when I started doing this, that it was gonna lose that shape. And yet the way that I blew those out it made it so that it's nice and all full and it's all pretty consistent width wise and so you can definitely tell i love it i almost wish that these were the colors that were the most prominent though but this is pretty it really, really is pretty. And the thing is, and I knew I wanted to make sure that I got my sides really, really well because I knew that I was not intending on any of this blowing over the edge. And so I wanted to make sure that they were nice and covered to begin with. So this is so pretty. I'm going to make sure that I don't have any Thing that I need to touch up on the sides just in case some of it started ripping off too much and then I'll bring it down for a close-up so I'll be right back here it is it is so beautiful wow I love it There's going to be lots and lots of shimmer and sparkle in this. So pretty. And I love the fact there's cells. There's some lacing in there, but it's not taking over. And then of course, once this dries, I'm hoping that you will see the heart on the inside, that this will be a different shade because of the color that I have underneath it. So I'm really, really hoping that you'll be able to see that. All right, I'm going to shut off the overheads and turn on my flash. Wow, oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. If you like this, please push the like button. It helps me to know if I should make more paintings like this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are there other colors that I should use? Do you like the fact that I made them two different colors throughout or should I have made them all the same? Oh, 
I love it. If you haven't subscribed, I would really love for you to do so. Thank you to my current subscribers. Thank you for all your support. So this is the part I'm really hoping that you'll be able to see that red coming through because I figured if I used red on underneath the white, then maybe it'll look more like pink. So that's what I'm hoping when it dries. I can't wait until I'm able to show you the dried results. I think it's just going to be so, so beautiful. All right, there it is. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Take care. Bye. God bless. Here's the dried results of the blue painting that I did. Look at all of those beautiful, beautiful cells. One of the things that I really like about this painting is that there's purple in there. And I did not use purple in this painting. And so I love how you get different colors. And look, there's there's purple and I I don't know where it came from, but it is really really pretty. So there's that. You can see the hopefully, yeah, you can see the sparkle in it. There, now you can. Once this is resined, it's going to really sparkle and shimmer a lot more than what you can see now while it's dry, but there's still quite a bit in there. Even with it being dry, so really, really, really pretty. I love the way this turned out. And it really looks good with the coasters. Sometimes when I make the coasters with the same colors as the painting, you can tell they're the same colors, but they don't really mesh well together, I guess. But these look like they were made to go together. Alright, that's all I have for now. I'll catch you later. Bye. God bless.